a, a different type of face swapping that can be done. Well, I felt ill in the other as well. I'm sick now. You should, all the fucking lies you need to tell people. Hello, Seekers. Well, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a video on Smug Poppy again. Now, previously, I've done a couple videos on the same people, which, getting more into this, I don't really care to keep doing the same channel over and over anyway. But with Smug Puppy, this gives me more time to be able to recreate and show you how it's done. Especially since their videos are short, it's fake from beginning to end. In my opinion. And during each video, I'm gonna break it down and recreate these. Let's get on with the video. Seekers, welcome to the show. Sit back, relax, okay, here we go. Like the fuse, it's ignited. This video is based on my opinions on what I see as a paranormal investigator and debunker. If you're a fan of who I'm talking about, no need to be toxic in the comment section because you was fooled. So I'm assuming this camera is moving by itself. Camera dies, how about that? Wow, he is, he's definitely getting lazy with his edits, that's for sure. All right, now we're gonna go over the part I was done, starting with the beginning. Okay, so right here, everything is based on the middle, well, the doorway. So we're gonna zoom in focus on this area now something else we should be focusing on they put portal so i'm assuming they're talking about up here where the darkness is but you can see that this right here is the shadow which is casting from a light from that room which looks like daytime light so it's probably a window in that room that's casting the light casting the shadow along the frame here watch when the light lights up and listen for when the sound of what causes the light to happen. Now we're going to play it again. So it's almost like they're trying to do the like lightning and thunder effect. When you see lightning and you hear thunder, that's because it's really far away. From what I've been told is that when you see lightning, each second is a mile. Now, I don't know how completely accurate that is. That's almost like what's happening right here in their house. So either they're throwing an audio overlay on it and just screwed it up, or they're making these lights flash and then hitting something a little too late. All right, so now let's take a look at the flash. Now, if the portal is supposed to be up here in this darkness, once that lights up, this shadow gets brighter. All the way down this part, and this is a lot lighter. So that tells you that whatever is lighting up is coming from this room over here. I mean, you can see the reflection of what is lighting up something in the room. So with this reflection, they could have a light up a little bit higher, but it looks like they have two different lights, a white light, and it looks like maybe a, probably like a light like that. 
that is making the red tent. Pretty quick and simple. Now let's get to the next part. Now this right here is definitely somebody standing behind the mic or the behind the camera moving it around and they turn it straight this way so when it falls sideways the camera is facing directly underneath the bed for what happens at the end and that little thing right there when that camera does that effect it's probably just something in a video that they found and just overlay it on their video. So this right here <laughs> is one of the crappiest overlay jobs I've ever seen. Even the overlay shifts up. The whole the whole thing moves up. I was thinking about maybe trying to find this overlay, but I kind of feel like it's the daughter dressed up in some Halloween outfit. You can see long hair right here. I mean, could that be her hair? Or could it just be part of the outfit? Hello, can I help you? All right, so let's go over this little tiny recreation. I'll repaste it right off. Huh? All right, so what I did was I have the room just the way it is. Then I used a light, lit up the room. I recorded that for a few seconds, and then I used just a red light and just shined it towards the wall. Now with those, I just cut it up and just ran just a couple seconds of each. The light again, and then back to the red light, light again, and then back to normal. Just cutting those up and just, you know, just with like three seconds of each clip and just mixing them up will give like that effect. And of course, using a overlaid sound. And of course, I am just standing behind the camera, moving it around myself, and then just throwing in a overlay. Pretty much all it would take to make their video, but I am doing everything from my desk. On to the next one. How do you do this for? Well, until you face changes or supposed to morph it's called scrying uh, stare into the mirror stare into your own reflection and then your face changes apparently now i'm watching these right you know, now at full speed you know. <laughs> but during the full breakdown and recreation i will be slowing it down to dad what Oh my god! What? I swear your face just changed then. Not for me, it didn't. <laughs> oh my god. You actually had hair in the mirror. I didn't see anything. I looked over, looked in the mirror, looked in the mirror, then looked at you, and your face had changed. Hold on a second. Oh my, oh. God. oh my god. Are you s I'm sure some did this happen then as well. <laughs> that What? Is his daughter editing this? Put him down for your glasses. What? Well, don't tell. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't know if it was just me. That's so bad. You put me on edge now. This morning your face just changed. Well, it felt fine. I didn't feel any weird and I didn't see it in the mirror. Oh my god. I feel like he's like... Keep, I want to keep doing I feel this. like Mom. he's teaching his daughter how to do these editing and like well, these are her. Following the last video that happened. Yeah, and that Sorry. was scary. I don't want it to happen again, thank you very much. I don't know, but that's why I thought it would be a good idea so we could draw this out. I'm just staring at your face now, not staring at mine. No, just leave it, just leave it. I want to check the video, I want to see what happened yeah. just then. All right, we're skipping the very beginning and moving to where it starts happening. The first face change. Let's move this out the way. All right, so now let's keep an eye on the face. Obviously she sees it and then looks over, right? Just one frame 
and it changes. Normal? Yeah. Looking straight. Turn. Yeah, obviously it's edited. So there's not much around. So I caught more with when it comes to her yes! change. Oh Alright, we're just gonna. I Actually, swear it's... your face just changed there. Not for me, it didn't. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> hold on a second. I gotta bend down. I swear I knew that this was gonna happen. All right, so there's a couple things that change in frame when they cut and mask her side. Now, look at this right here. You're gonna see it kind of smudge right when it happens. Right there, smudge. Even this back here gets all blurry. A lot of movement going on right there when she's not moving at all, right? I'm sure she did the stuff in there as well. Well, when you went down for your glasses. Well, don't tell. I don't even want to know. She's gone bald. All right, so what I've done so far is I recorded two clips. One of them is just me staring at the mirror, look back at the camera. The other one just got me doing something different. So let's just go at you, editor. Alright, so we got that might be a glare. And so we're we'll gonna go this one, kind of do the same thing. And with with this being square, it's it, it's made easy. Alright, so we have one of each. And actually we'll put that on. Front. Right, so we'll cut this, doing a tad bit of adjusting. I had to speed that up just so it wasn't too long for you guys. All I did was record myself staring at the mirror and then I'll look back at the camera. Then the other one staring at the mirror the whole time, but just do something different. And so one of them, I am erasing what's inside the mirror. Then the second video, I am erasing everything besides the mirror and just putting them both together, making this. We have captured one of the most scariest videos ever today. I'm still a bit shaken. Um, this is what my dad's camera caught of my reaction. Dad? Dad? Oh my god. Dad? Dad? Yeah! And this is what my camera caught of my dad. Yeah, unless you put something there, there's nothing on the table. Well, hey, well, I really bad one, you know. oh, maybe he said something down. Oh, really? Oh, it's his glasses. Okay, so it was there. That uh, K2 doesn't look like it's Dad? doesn't look like it's really there. It looks like a Dad. 
That's it's an overlay. Oh my god. Yeah, K2 definitely. God. Yeah. <laughs> Shouted. Yes, you have. You just shouted, get out. So I could tell. I and your face looks so different. When the. It's gone now. What are you SP7, doing? SP7, when it Why like, you came just out. That? I haven't put anything. This thing it looks like it came out floor. and hit something right and got you. pulled back. Your face looks so different. Yeah. What the f did you just do? Definitely have to look at that. I've so had a massive headache. That's all I remember. I had my head down and I had a headache. But then you started screaming. Why do you you're gonna have to watch that back? You didn't you didn't look yourself. It felt weird. It felt like a bit out of body in the Oh my god. You frightened the death out of me when you said <laughs> that like kinda of woke me up, if you know what I mean. Oh. Honestly, you I was like, hello, hello, and then you just screamed I don't it remember out. Any and then of you, that. That just fell off the table. I remember you asking me if I was okay. That was it. And then you screamed. God. Give him a selfie f right now. Put your hand out. I can see him shaking from here. I got my glasses on. Well, I didn't mean to. Honestly, I'm really cold. I'm, I'm like scared. Splitting headache. Like a migraine type thing. Well, I felt ill, if you know what I mean, as well. I feel sick now. You should, all the fucking lies and tell people. No, I don't remember shouting. No, I remember you shouting. <sighs> we probably better stop doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it back. Let's get into this one. All right, we're starting off with... Dad. Dad. Yeah! <laughs> I can't say for sure, but the way that she's using her hand right there, She's going back with it. Um, now, around the end of the clip, I'm gonna show you something that will kind of give it a little bit more in depth with it. But I think that she might be pulling a string that's connected to both of those. I think that one string is going this way, the other one's going that way. Obviously, that's the way they go, but. We'll get more into that in a little bit. Dad? 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 Oh my god. Dad? Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's look at all the, uh... Alright, first, we're just going to go frame by frame and see how this was all played out. All right, there, he's making a face. You can see, see, slowly see it morphing. But, actually, let me... Well, first, we'll go over the table. Zoom in on him a little bit. All right, now let's watch it as it all plays out, frame by frame. <laughs> right here, you can see the face starting to slowly morph. Get all this over here that's being morphed in just one frame. And I say that that has to do with this is what's causing all this to happen. 
It's just this right here. I mean, you can see where he actually was probably really screaming. And then like this right here is his lip. Yeah, so it's the, a face just morphed over his as he's screaming. All right, now we're gonna get into talking about the uh, these two. All right, so I mentioned in the recording while watching it that it looked like this, it looked like this SB7, it looked like it, it looked like it flew and it hit something and bounced back over here. But let's watch this in slow motion. <laughs> the whole table is expanding at the same time. So it didn't actually go that far at all. It pretty much came off the table as if it was being pulled from over here. But it was pulled from here to this way and as soon as it came to the edge it was pulled back underneath the table uh, with that in mind we'll watch it real quick and it's, it's slowed down a little bit but so you can see that it was pulled over and straight down as if it was being pulled that way which is why i think that when earlier when we seen her with her hand like that Going like that was to pull the string. All right, so now I have her camera view right here. Let me back it up or yeah. This is her camera view and it is, it's aligned with his camera. So we can see both of them moving at the same time. Dad. Dad. <laughs> okay, so we see that those two are aligned with each other. Now let's take it frame by frame. This is kind of like what we do when we're debunking videos, finding what doesn't look right, especially with stuff like this, and just going frame by frame and looking at all aspects and trying to narrow out certain stuff. All right, so we can see this one moving the same time as this one. See a little gap in this. I'm not sure. Yeah, these are ran at the same time, but this frame that's pretty much off of the table, and this one is still. And this right here is when this thing right here morphed. Also his face. This frame, those two are gone. Which I mean, we can't see how far that is on hers. All right, so now what I haven't done is we're gonna take her camera and we're gonna show her. Let's see if it looks like she's pulling it from her side. I don't know what you guys think. I'm just going to show you a little sample of a, a different type of face swapping that can be done. Not sure exactly which program he used. Again, he could have used something that was made a lot easier to transfer a face. The way all these programs are getting advanced, it's it's getting hard talent anymore. All right, so I <laughs> we're, we're going to do a little bit of a different type of tutorial. The face 
swap technique of doing it it's on here but it's the best and easiest way to do it like he did is with a with the paid version so we're just going to do it a slight different way it's still going to be a fun little tutorial all right obviously i'm going to speed things up for you so you don't have to sit through all of it all right so what we have here is it's a face it's just an overlay i'm going to attach them and then do some editing which you'll see sped up So pretty much all I did was take another face and put a tracker on what I want that face to stick to. So it traces the movement and then you just put it where you want it. And once it's on the screen with the tracer, it'll go where it goes. With what he did with the paid version, you can cut out around the eyes and the mouth. That way you can blink, open your mouth, or you could also just take somebody screaming from a video and just putting that over top of your face and just going with some time, you can make it look like it's actually put on your face. And there's also apps out there like TikTok. I know they have these types of filters and stuff. It just goes by with what way you're doing it. But the bottom line is he used somebody else's face over top of his. The K2 and SB7, I believe, was pulled with string. On to the next. Let me end today again. There we go. Playing bloody games, knocking. Explain this, poltergeist. Nothing. Nothing at all. That's bloody easy. One of the easiest damn so, tricks. Ah. Uh, that's the front door, I think. Yeah, that's the front door. Here we go. Nothing. Ah, uh, there we go again. Nothing. See? What the bloody hell is that? That definitely sounded like it came from under the bed. Ah, oh, I can't bend down, guys, and see. I can drop my <laughs> phone down. We, we know what's underneath that bed. I'll see it when I post it, but I really can't see anything. I hope there's nothing under there. Ooh, he's using a tracker. Right. Hopefully that's it, guys. And there's nothing. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, uh, so we're going to fuck wall at the look back. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Cut. It's getting ridiculous now. I can't, I'm not going to be able to take that down myself. Not with my back and my knees and whatnot. So I'll post anything else after this if we capture anything. All right, guys. What the hell? All right, this one I could tell is going to be very easy to go over. There we go. Playing bloody games, knocking. There's not much to really stop and keep showing in this because... It's Nothing. all it's all audio overlays. Nothing at all. That's pretty usual. See? Oh, oh what what I'm sure he did was front door, I think. Yeah, it's the front door. He actually did this walk. But somebody was actually Nothing. on the inside of the house doing the knocking. Uh, that way it actually sounds like it's at go, that yeah. distance. 
Nothing. Shit. What the bloody hell was that? <laughs> Audio overlap. That definitely sounded like it came from under the bed. No. It, oh. it actually coming through the ear, earphones. I can't bend down, guys, and see. I can drop my phone down. It would have been, like, right in your face. Can you see anything? I'll see it when I post it, but I really can't see hmm. anything. I hope there's nothing under there. No way yet. Right. Okay, this is... Hopefully that's, that's it, guys. And there's nothing... Oh, what the hell is that? So I don't think that there was any cuts, but I mean, oh, it is. It's just two chairs, one stacked on top of the other. Somebody had plenty of time to do this. It's just two chairs stacked on top of each other. And whoever stacked it, they could be sitting over here on the couch because he keeps the camera straight that way. So you can't see. I mean, they could have went into any any of these rooms. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's really keeping right, the guys. camera, making sure it's not going over that way. All right, so everything's audio overlaid. This right here was done while he was looking, and the eyeballs is just an overlaid GIF PNG file used with a tracker. And I guess let's do it. All right, so since I'm gonna be doing this by myself, I am going to be using the tripod to get the camera as far away as I can for when I'm knocking. All right, so there's that clip. Now we can just sit over here and pretend that we hear something. What is that? coming from the poster but there's nothing there all right so for the eyeballs we're gonna use this all right let's make some eyeballs appear All that was done with a tracker. Okay, let's get into the eye tracking, which you guys kind of already seen the process before, so we'll make it quick. Got the eyeballs right here. All right, so we'll go, we'll see how far we want to go. Let's make some eyeballs appear. So we want to get it to where we're going to stop. So we're adding in a planner tracker that helps track what object you want to be tracked for the movement. I'm just going to follow this whole damn skull. All right, now that the object that we want tracked has all been tracked, we kind of just, well, we got to put this on here, edit, and... There we go, tracked. Now this is kind of like what he does underneath the bed. He just moves the camera back and forth, adds the eyeballs later, tracks it, that's it. <clears throat> so that's going to be that for this video. I had a few more clips lined up that I was wanting to do recreations with, but the video is already around that half hour mark, and that's where I like to stop it, if I can. So if you guys like these videos and want to see more, make sure you let me know, because I, I really enjoy doing them. Some of these things I learn while doing them. And it, it's cool to debunk and then try to recreate and show you guys how it can be done. Now, if you guys haven't heard, I have a Facebook group, Paranormal Seekers 
and debunking. Come check us out. And I got a video that I'm working on next. It's gonna be going over a piece of equipment and showing things that can set it off to show you that not everything is paranormal. All right, I appreciate every one of you guys. If you're new, like, subscribe, on to the next. Hello Seekers, is there anybody out there? Does anybody care? If you want to investigate, you must debunk as well When you're fake, it's obvious, yeah, we can tell Fake or misguided, you must admit It's all annoying as shit Debunking, it's important If you deny it, you're not ready Faking the truth, it can be deadly Fakers have no morals, all for subs and clicks what you stand for, it makes me